Cool. You ready? I'm ready. All right. Hi there. I'm Kent Beck from Gusto. I'm Kelly, also from Gusto. And uh, we're here to show you uh, a twist on an interesting technique. Uh, I've been talking about TCR, the test commit revert workflow, for a little while. And uh, yesterday, Kelly showed me an interesting twist on it where you use TCR to write tests for existing code. Uh, and uh, well, we'll show you how that all works out. Yeah, cool. So today we're going to look at some code uh, that we actually use here in production at Gusto. And it's an interesting a little bit of code because it uh, takes some HTML mm -hmm. and then converts it into plain text mm -hmm. for the purposes of sending out emails. Ah, and the emails, the famous Gusto emails that everybody loves receiving. You got paid with a little celebration emoji telling you you can buy this many bottles of sriracha. Fantastic. <laughs> okay, now now we're going to show them how that actually works. Yep. Yep. And uh, and hopefully see how it works ourselves. Yep. Of course. Cool. Of course. Let's go. Cool. Okay. So uh, we use a gem here called Plain David, and so this takes uh, HTML like from a rich uh, email and mm -hmm. it turns it into plain text so that you can read it uh, like on your phone or some uh, some things that can't. Some email browsers that just can't display. HTML. You know, but before we get started with this, yeah. can you just show people what the TCR workflow works like? Sure, sure. So uh, test commit revert. So we have a set of production code on the left, uh, test code on the right, um, and the TCR is going to kick in whenever we save a file. Okay. Right. Uh, so right here we have a very simple base case. Given the empty string, we're going to get out the empty string. Right? Okay. If we make an error in our tests. Uh, to change this to say, given the empty string, spit up the text hello, we go to save, uh, that's going to get erased. Where did it go? Into the ether. Oh, we lost it. We're so sad. Yeah. The, but this is the interesting thing about using TCR for understanding code, yeah. is we're going to make some assumptions mm -hmm. of the code on the left. Yep. We're going to record them as tests. Yep. If we're wrong, mm -hmm. poof. Yep. It's our, just going to be gone. Our, our understanding was incorrect. Basically. Okay, well, let's yeah. get some more understanding than this, because this is not enough understanding for one day. Yep, of course. And I think uh, something interesting here is that the, the code on the left we've been using for years, so we have like confidence that it works, but we just don't have tests. Got it. Right. Cool. All right, what do you, uh, where do you want to start? All right, so the next case, what's the next case? Uh, let's start with like a simple like paragraph tag. Like we just have okay. uh, like a, a, a simple... Uh, P tag, right? Uh, so we're gonna craft some input HTML here. Yeah. To say, uh, hello, Kent. Uh, we'll make sure that this is valid HTML. And then we're gonna write a test case. Uh, so I think what should come out is just the text, hello, Kent. Okay. Right? So we're gonna strip out the P tag. Well, we're about to find out, because if yeah. this all disappears... We were wrong. We were wrong. But we were right. But Thank we were goodness. right. Okay. You know, uh, next time we do this, mm -hmm. we could do the let. Yeah. We could run the tests. Yeah. And then add the it. it just, just so we're not losing like the four input. or five lines of work. Yeah. Uh, for the input. Okay. So, yeah. but next. Yeah. Okay. So the p tags. That's how p tags work. Yeah. Now, can we be reading the code on the left? And so, for example, remove the head tag. Mm -hmm. So if we have a head tag, it should disappear. Yep. That's, yep. I'm going to assume that. Yep. Should we write a test? Sure. Okay. And we're, we're going to save right here just so we can have this. Got right. it. Perfect. And we'll do this again up here. And I want to let this one breathe just a little bit more so we can yeah. uh, see what's going on. So we're going to save. Uh, and then let's use a little here doc syntax so that our tests are nice and easy to read. Uh, and in here, we're assuming that there's some, I don't know what usually goes in a head tag, uh, a link tag, right? Right? I think so. so sure. Let's save. Right, so this is okay. just some input. And then I think the output in this case is also just, just hello, hello count. Count. Okay. Maybe some new lines. Well, we'll find out. Yeah. If there is anything, it will disappear. Okay, now it. that is it. 
Okay, so at, th okay. At, so at this point, I'm actually I'm starting to... I want to make sure that our tests are actually working. Right? Okay. So I actually yeah, yeah, want to break sense. a test yes. and see TCR kind of like revert that back. Yeah, yeah, that makes right. sense. So let's change Hello Kent to... Unfortunately, our names are too similar. But yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll change it to Hello Kelly, and I'm expecting this to get blown away. Yeah. Right. Boom. Boom. Okay, so right. now... So I'm, it's not automatically going to pay you every time I'm supposed to get paid. Unfortunately, it won't. <sighs> okay. <laughs> Got it. Next. <laughs> so, so, so here's my suggestion for yeah. how we go through. We can just go through this, mm -hmm. the the code on the left, yeah. and line by line, and say, well, if this works the way we think it does, yep. here's what it looks like. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah, we could we could do that. I think we could. Yeah, spend a do few. Do you have a better uh, idea? No, no. I okay. think that's a that's a great uh, that's a great way to do it. Okay. Um, so let's just should we just try. Something interesting like an image tag, right? So. Oh, I was gonna go through like oh. increments, like one at a time from top to bottom. At which point we know we're done. Sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. So let's let's just try that. So we have a style tag. And we'll, we'll drop in some HTML. Uh, let's come up with some CSS. Yeah. We and we don't need the we don't need the paragraph. Oh, we do need to. Ah, yeah, I see. We, I we see. We don't need to. We could remove it. No, no, no. That's fine. That's fine. Okay. okay so you did save it. We did save it. Okay. So we're capturing the input here, and then the test yeah. case is still the same. So okay. we guaranteed this is going to work. Yeah. Okay. Well, cool. and it did. Thank goodness. Cool. So we could do this. We could go through line by line, and I think that'd be very useful. That'd like prepare us for a nice refactor. Yeah, yeah. If we were going to do this for real instead yeah. of just pandering yeah. to our audience. Yes. Okay. <laughs> Which is also important. Yeah. But, um, <laughs> we live in a new era. <laughs> uh, but I, I think we could also use this to see if there's like a, like if there are any limits to the code as is. So one of the things that jumped out to, bo uh, to both of us when we looked at this is yeah. this this is like regular expression replacement. This is not an HTML parser. This is not what you're usually supposed to do when parsing HTML, yes. Got it, got it. So if we can find something that misbehaves, yes. we can characterize it. We yep. can say, here's exactly how it misbehaves. Yep. Um, and then that'll be at least useful. Yep. Okay. So I think, should we try doing one and see if we can't just sure, sure, do sure. that? Sure, uh, sure. So I, I feel like a tag that spans multiple lines Okay. This might have a hard time. With okay. 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 So let's try that. Um, so let's just do like an H1. Uh, whoops. Uh, let's do an H1. I'm going to remove And the we'll post our Sublime Text plugin. Yeah. With this video. With the, with yeah. the video, no problem. So yeah. So let's say we have a multi line uh, P tag. Okay. Meaning, you know, that's a pretty. You can write HTML like that. Yeah. Right? Okay. So let's. Um, so you, you you saved it so we don't lose it. Yeah, I saved it so we don't lose it, and then I don't know. Just uh, type in what you think it's going to be. Yeah. I. So I'm. I think it's going to be mm. empty string. You think it's going to be empty string? Yeah. I think it might be. Uh, we might have like some new lines on either side of this, right? It'll strip out oh, these I tags. Oh, I see. Uh, but it'll leave this. Right? But oh, I have no idea. Oh, I see. Let's okay. Yeah. Looks like it's still, just to make sure. Yeah, looks like it's still. Huh, all right. Uh, well, the code's better than we thought. Yeah. So what if uh, what if there are multiple lines inside the paragraph? Uh, yeah, that's good. Uh, let's try that out. Uh, maybe maybe with a with a line break. Sure. Yeah. Party on. Yeah. Ooh, and we'll do the like. Uh, Hello, Kelly. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Got to promote myself in here a little bit. Okay, so we're gonna save this. <laughs> okay, now what? You've, <laughs> as as one of my students, you've learned the lessons entirely too well. Yeah. Okay, so, so what do we think the answer is gonna be? So I would I would expect it to be Hello Kent two line returns. And then hello. Code. All right. Okay. Type that in as expected, and yeah. if it's that's not what we get, then down at the bottom of the of the uh, page here, we will see. Yeah. 
some failure output, and then we're going to see our changes go away. So you, this is what I'm expecting. Uh, you need one more exclamation oh, point because you. we're just that enthusiastic. Just too excited. Yeah, okay. there you go. Save and? That's right. Okay. So in exactly two. Right? So exactly not one. Two. Yeah. Nope. Two. Two. Interesting. This is this little uh, plain David thing is maybe a little bit better than we thought. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So we would have to dig into the code, mm -hmm. but the point is not to actually test it, yep. and it, it's just to illustrate the workflow that we're talking about, yep. where we have some subject code, mm -hmm. we want to understand it, and we want to understand it in a in a way that gives us clear feedback, yep. and even better that that feedback is persistent in time we have these tests we yeah. can run them all the time yeah if we get pulled into a meeting or if we have to go i don't know make ourselves a nice cappuccino or something yeah uh our understanding is baked right into the code and right into the tests right uh, and we've kind of made this nice like incremental we, we've just added incremental understanding to this. and then if we wanted to replace this with something else but that something else also satisfied the same test, yep. then we have confidence that our cute, cheeky little payroll uh, payday emails would go out and look exactly the same exactly. to our delighted customers. Exactly. All right. Well, cool. Kelly, thank you so much for introducing me to yep. this technique, yep. and uh, uh, we'll uh, we'll post all the details of our setup here. And if you want to give it a try, let us know how it goes. Thanks a lot. Thanks.